here with another DIY from me to you. So we are right in the middle of prom season, which is so fun because I love any DIY that's glitzy and glam and sparkly. So here at HGTV Handmade, we're going to have quite a few prom crafts, but don't feel like you have to be going to prom to make them. Any of them would work for a wedding or any other fancy event, or if you just want to bring some glam into your everyday life. So today, I'm going to be making a clutch purse. Well, not so much making as updating this monstrosity that I got from the thrift store. I got it for about a dollar and there is a lot going on. There is pink and lace and ruffles and a clasp that doesn't work. The inside is actually in pretty good shape, but I think we can bring the outside into 2005. 2005? No, I think it's in 2005. What I meant to say is I think we can bring the outside back to 2015. So the first step is to remove these awful ruffles. It was actually pretty easy. I just went in there with scissors to cut any threads that I could see, and then I could just kind of pull them right off. When I got to the top one, though, the fabric ended up having a little bit of a gap in it, so I just used a little bit of tacky glue to close that off. So, now that the ruffles are finally gone, we've got a clutch purse that's ready to be covered in a new fabric, and I'm gonna be using this super cool fabric. So these are actually leggings that I loved the print of, so I bought them in an extra large so I would have as much of the fabric as possible. Confession, I actually just bought them at Target, but you can use any fabric that you like, and you could probably even just find something at the same thrift store where you buy the clutch purse. So I cut a piece of fabric that's roughly the size that would cover the purse, and then I went in there and trimmed it down a little so the edges were a little more even. Now I want to hem the edges so we have nice folded finished edges on the sides rather than the rough cut edges, but I don't want you to be able to see anything on the other side, so rather than sewing, I'm just gonna glue them. I actually started off by using tacky glue, but it was taking forever to dry and the fabric wasn't really staying in place, so about halfway through I switched to hot glue, which worked so much better. Just make sure you do a test section on your fabric first, because you don't want it showing through to the other side. So once the fabric is completely hemmed, it's time to attach it to the purse. I'm still using hot glue for this, because it dries really fast and it keeps everything exactly in place, so I just put a line of glue up on the top edge and carefully pressed the fabric into place. And then I went down each side with glue and I kept attaching it and my fabric is stretchy so I could really make sure the edges were even without very much effort. So now moving on to the back, the height that I had hemmed the fabric at ended up being a little bit longer than I needed. So I just glued up the sides until about an inch from the top and then I could put down one final line of glue and fold the extra fabric under so that I ended up with a clutch purse that's perfectly covered up. Well, I don't know if I should say perfect because you can still see a little bit of the pink lace pattern peeking through on the sides. I thought about using another piece of fabric or a thick string to cover that up, but I thought it might be a little much with the rhinestones that I'm about to add. So I decided to just leave it because you do have to be looking pretty closely to see any of the pink. But if you're doing something similar, you can of course cover it up with whatever you have on hand. So okay, we're almost done, but as I mentioned before, the clasp is missing, so the purse doesn't really close properly. But since the top of the purse is made of metal, I could just take a tiny neodymium magnet and hot glue it to one side of the top of the purse. And now that acts as a super simple clasp and keeps the purse shut, but it's still really easy to open and close. But for one final touch, since this is a prom DIY, I think we need a little more glitz and glam. So I took these rhinestones that come on a roll and I cut off a piece that's the correct size and then I just applied it to the top of the purse and these pre-cut rhinestones are super fast and easy to apply and they just bring a little extra sparkle. And that's all there is to it. Now we've made a modern looking purse with a really cool print and no ruffles. Obviously if you're going to be doing this project you'll probably be starting out with a different purse but I hope this DIY has inspired you on how easy it can be to completely change up the look of a clutch purse. And if you're making this for a specific event, you can of course pick any type of fabric or decorations to match 
whatever you'll be wearing. So let me know in the comments if you've ever made a purse like this, or if you have any other DIY prom plans. I'll have another prom DIY coming up very soon, so let me know if you want to see some of my own prom pictures. Might have to dig up a few of those from the archives. So thank you guys so much for watching HGTV Handmade. Don't forget to press like and subscribe, and I will see you all again next week. Bye, everyone!